So I decided to upload this video and next week's video on my health channel because I know it's around Christmas time and a lot of people are going to be having videos about Christmas and they're going to be super cheery and the people that are going through bouts of depression and anxiety they're just going to see these videos and sure it'll cheer them up for a little bit but they're still going to be feeling these uh, negative emotions so I decided that it is great for me to show these two videos, this video for this week and the next video for next week. It shows that just because I'm cheery and make jokes on my comedy channel and make jokes on my vlog channel or on my gaming channel, uh, it shows that yes, I am a real person, I do have feelings, and it's interesting to see that because these videos were recorded about two months ago, it's interesting to see how my emotions change from when I'm feeling in that state to when I'm not feeling in the state of serious depression or anxiety, like in the videos, but rather feeling more cheery and sociable like I am now. Hello beautiful world! So today I'm going to talk to you about anxiety, or at least my anxiety, what I experience on a regular basis. So I have, I'm pretty sure all kinds of anxiety that exist because I, because even though I love to see what's new in the world of YouTube and the community, I still have social anxiety. I have, I have anxiety in large groups of people and it stresses me out. And sometimes that stress can trigger a seizure for me. So I try to avoid going to parties. And that's typically why I'm not really a party person. Or at least a giant party. A small party of like a few friends. Like a birthday party would, would not hurt me. I get anxiety when I wake up in the morning. I get anxiety when I go to sleep. Now when I wake up in the morning... The anxiety typically comes from, oh, now I have this whole day ahead of me and I know I need to get things done. So I hope that I feel okay to actually do these things because I want to be productive today. Not like yesterday where I laid in bed all day because I felt like total crap. Now the anxiety that I get before I go to sleep it's typically because I've had a really crappy day. Not specifically today because I obviously went to an event and I enjoyed my time there. But there are days when I have anxiety because I haven't gotten things done. And because I feel like the next day I'm already anticipating that I'm going to fail for the next day. And that anxiety just turns into me feeling like I'm going to fail my family. Even though they don't expect much from me and they don't expect me to take care of them, I still feel like I have to and I feel like I'm failing my family when I don't get things done, when I'm not productive, when I'm not working hard to achieve the success that I want doing the thing that I love most, which is filming. The anxiety before bed also tends to come from my insomnia. And my insomnia can pretty much last the whole night. Even if I was up all day, even if I was up all night and all day, there's always that chance that I 
might stay up another night because I just can't seem to fall asleep. I do have anxiety from that because with a lack of sleep comes more seizures. Obviously, I try to avoid that as much as possible. Another thing that seems to trigger my anxiety is having to go somewhere and wearing makeup while going to that place or just going anywhere having to wear makeup unless it's Halloween and I don't really for some reason don't have anxiety wearing makeup on Halloween if it's for a costume but for an event if I have to wear foundation it just it feels like I'm suffocating so I do try to wear makeup as little as possible and if I do it is just eyeliner and mascara there is even rare times where I do wear lipstick but it's almost as rare as putting foundation on so I may put on foundation for one or two days in the year and then putting on lipstick maybe three days in the year. Let's get some of that anxiety out of the way. Now I feel fresh and I can breathe. So what causes my anxiety? There are a few million, billion things that cause my anxiety. Let's start with my mom worried about me having a seizure 24-7. Oh, sorry, 48-7 because honestly there's no, there's no time that she's not worried about my seizure. And yes, I love her and I'm glad that I have a loving mother that cares about me, but it gets so stressful, it's anxiety, it's like she's always behind me, she's always in my space, it's always in my box, and it's just so stressful, it's so, I get so much anxiety, I get anxiety attacks when I'm just not in the mood, I have, I'm just in a bad mood, and then she thinks I'm gonna have a seizure because I'm just in a little bit of a, of a bad mood, so that causes an anxiety attack when I'm not feeling well, just in general, that causes an anxiety attack because I don't want to be feeling bad. I want to be feeling good. So uh, when I go outside, that causes an anxiety attack because especially in my area, people typically give you bad looks just for existing. I get an anxiety attacks from not being able to think properly when I have those moments that I am not feeling well and it makes me not think properly and I can't speak properly because of the anticipation of the possibility of a seizure happening. And so that causes anxiety. Not being able to get things done, which is basically anti productivity that causes anxiety because when I get things done I feel good about myself when I don't get things done I feel like I have failed people I feel like I have failed everybody my whole family it starts out as me feeling like if I can't get things done then that means that I will never be successful if I can't get things done then even if I do eventually get successful for some reason, for some magical, universal reason, then if I am successful, I won't be able to stay successful for long. Because then I will just screw it up and not get things done because of just one day feeling bad is just so frustrating, so stressful, and I just feel like 
I go into the spiral of thinking about if I didn't have this anxiety, how much I would get done, how many people I could help from just getting things done. I get anxiety from my seizures. Not necessarily if I feel like I'm about to have a seizure, it's just in general, just knowing that I have seizures, knowing that there is always going to be a time where I'm going to have a seizure. I have anxiety attacks because I feel if I have a seizure now, then I can't do things. I am not able to function in society. I can't be my own person. I can't live on my own. I can't ever be my own person. I can't ever live alone. I can't ever live. You know, it feels like I'm always going to be boxed in and trapped because I feel like mom's not always going to be there and my sister has her own life I can't expect them to always be there for me to take care of me I can't expect anybody to take care of me so then I have an anxiety attack so I think oh I'm gonna be alone I won't have anybody to take care of me I don't have money to pay for somebody to take care of me but then I don't want to pay somebody to take care of me because then they might not actually care about their job but if somebody actually cares about me enough to take care of me when I'm in those situations I'm probably gonna screw it up because well I tend to do that I have well that turns into anxiety for relationships because I feel like nobody that I've ever dated has really cared about me like on that level sure I've had friends there's nobody that there was a potential relationship happening and they would look at me and they would see all the struggles that come with being with me and just stand there or sit there and just take it all in and understand that yes if she has a seizure if we're living together then yes I have to take care of her and I am okay with that I've never had that I've never had somebody do that I've always had somebody even just think oh am I gonna be with this person oh no she has seizures that's way too much to care about that is too much to handle that is I can't handle that I'm not gonna do that that's that's too much work mostly it's just people just thinking that I'm too much work they don't they don't even look at me in the sense that yes I love this person so taking care of them when they do have issues is totally worth it I still have yet to find that and then I have anxiety from thinking that I have to go out and look for that and then me trying to look for that turns into me not getting things done as well as feeling horrible physically because I end up feeling sick to my stomach like physically sick just from feeling horrible. I get more anxiety because I feel alone. Even if I have my friends and my family around me, I still feel alone. And I feel unloved. And sure, people love me, my friends love me, my family loves me, but that is not the kind of love that I am talking about when I feel unloved. It's just a feeling like I feel like I'm gonna be alone my entire life because my friends have lives, my family has, they have lives of their own. Everybody has lives of their own. I want to feel better. I want to not have seizures so I can actually live an actual life. Not have to worry every five seconds of a little twitch that's gonna turn into 
me dropping a kettle and burning both of my legs, or I guess in my case, it was, it was my entire right leg and my foot and part of my left foot just because of a little twitch. Twitches cause anxiety for me. I feel like most of my anxiety comes from my seizures because every little thing that has to do with my seizures, it just turns into something else. My anxiety just, it just turns into something else that I can't do. I get anxiety to go out because I feel like if I start feeling bad outside, then that means I can't even enjoy my own life. I can't enjoy life outside. I can't even feel the breeze of the air outside because I feel just a little bit bad. It's just gonna get worse. I'm gonna have a seizure, it's gonna create a scene, and then everybody else's day is ruined because I created a scene with my seizure. That's generally what I feel like every single day. I feel like even if I lay in bed all day, I'm still gonna have an anxiety attack because then if I lay in bed all day, I don't do anything, my body doesn't move, it just stagnates, it just gets unhealthy because there's no circulation going on in my body. I get anxiety when I meet people. When I meet people, it's usually a few things that they think about when they meet me. When they find out I have seizures. Most of the time people feel sorry for me. Either they completely dismiss me because they don't want to even care. They don't, they don't want to be around that or have any workload. There are some people that feel like they need to be my friend because they feel sorry for me because they think I don't have any friends because maybe they feel like they need to help me because they just want to help people. There are people who are just nice but then they just completely disappear. I have anxiety about my finances because, well, frankly, I'm on ODSP. Sure, I get some money from walking dogs once in a while. The rare time that I get an order from for walking dogs or from Fiverr. Someone who wants me to make a video for them. But those orders barely scratch the surface of what I need to actually live. So being on ODSB because of my seizures, my anxiety, my depression, it helps for the time being, but it's not always going to be there. I feel like with my anxiety mostly stemmed from my seizures, I shouldn't be stressing about all this stuff because there are people who always have it worse. The fact that other people with seizures, they still seem to get through it. They see, they seem to be still successful even though they've had to struggle with seizures. Even though they've had to struggle with numerous things. They still seem to find their happiness. They seem to find a great job, great success. I feel like I have anxiety attacks specifically just because I feel like I am so stupid for even having anxiety attacks, for stressing about all these things in my life that I could just make so much better if I just stopped caring about how much stress it causes me. If I just stopped feeling, because that would make everybody's life better. It would just be easier for everyone. I could get things done. I could stop having these stupid thoughts in my head that just prevent me from getting things done, from from finding success, from making sure that people don't have to worry about me. Worrying about whether there's gonna be somebody who can be there 
besides my mother, because my mother is not going to be around forever to take care of me, to be there for me when I'm most vulnerable, when I have seizures. Not look at me as if I am their patient and they're my caregiver, but look at me as if that I'm a person that they love. And this is just something, just, just a something that they have to do to take care of me. Just, that's just another thing, because they love me, because they want to be there for me, and they don't see it as stress on them, they don't see it as work. I really hate making it hard on everyone, and even though I feel like... I should be able to help it, I should be able to change it, I still know that there's no way that I can change this. Not with medication, not with exercise, not with meditation. Sure, I can maybe make it less, but there's no certainty that it will permanently go away. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like that, please come back for more subscribe and be sure to check out my other channels my comedy channel my vlog channel and my gaming channel my comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day and my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming I love you guys so 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 much yeah.